most likely you have seen someone who has it. Possibly you know someone. If not, you probably know of this man and the effect Parkinson's disease has had on his life. Parkinson's is a progressive neurological disease, which involves the loss of brain cells which produce dopamine. This chemical acts as a messenger in the brain cells that control movement. The death of these cells makes movement difficult, resulting in the debilitating symptoms of Parkinson's that make every day a challenge. Medication is the primary treatment for the disease, but is only effective in treating the symptoms of Parkinson's, not in halting its progression. Current research focuses on finding more effective treatments for these symptoms, including tremor, muscle rigidity, impaired speech, and difficulty with walking, as well as fine movements. At the present time, there is no cure for the disease. Parkinson's patients can greatly improve their quality of life, manage their symptoms, and counteract the negative effects of inactivity by introducing regular exercise into their daily life. Moving, stretching, and exercising regularly will also help prevent secondary effects that may develop, such as poor posture, poor balance, decreased flexibility and range of movement, decreased strength, particularly in the muscles that keep us upright, resulting in a tendency to stoop forward, decreased endurance, shortness of breath, and fatigue. By incorporating regular exercise into their routines, people who are dealing with Parkinson's can maintain or possibly improve their quality of life. Studies clearly show that among people with Parkinson's, those who exercise fare better in the long run than those that do not. Group exercise classes are becoming more and more common for people who are dealing with Parkinson's, as activities can be specifically tailored to meet their needs and participants can empathize with and support one another. Having Parkinson's disease does not necessarily mean you should sit down and do nothing about it. Actually, the opposite is, is true. You should exercise. And let's do one more. We'll stop. Go back. Exercise for a Parkinson's patient is most important for his flexibility, balance, and state of mind, good state of mind. At my last appointment with my neurologist, he said that I had improved since last year. And how could that be with the progressive disease that I got better? And the only way that we could determine that was through exercise. I exercise five to six times a week. I'm here at the field house twice a week where they're specifically got exercises for Parkinson's patients. I work out in the aquafit, in the water as well, and I work out at Good Life Fitness. And my last piece of exercise equipment is my iron horse in my garage, which I use on occasion to supplement the rest of my exercise programs. The individual living with Parkinson's uh, benefits from the exercise program by improving their overall quality of life. At the program they have the opportunity to build their strength, endurance um, and work on their balance through a variety of instructor-led exercises. Back to center. Take that right palm on the outside of the The old adage, if you don't use it you'll lose it, is especially true with Parkinson's individuals, as is, it is a neurological disease, the more they stimulate their muscles and nerves, uh, the longer they will able, be able to maintain their, their functional ability. Another key component to the program is the opportunity to socialize with other individuals that are dealing with Parkinson's as well.
The exercise program is extremely beneficial to myself and others who are dealing with Parkinson's as the program is geared towards our specific needs and our limitations. We participate in a program that's about 45 minutes in duration twice a week. All we're going to do is rotate those arms out. And just to warm up. It doesn't need to be too taxing. The program does make a difference for me during the week as it provides some routine in that I, I'm sure to exercise at least twice a week. You might be able to hug your legs. Gaze goes beyond your toes. I come to the field house quite regularly in the evenings and do a cardiac walk on the track and then I also do the machines in the exercise room. There are many different types of activities that people who live with Parkinson's can do. One of the most highly effective is aquafit, or exercise in water. This type of workout is especially beneficial because there is significantly less impact on the body than dry land exercise, making it less painful and more enjoyable to many, including older adults. Uh, the water provides a great place for people of all abilities to exercise. In our aqua class, we start off with a warm-up, then we do a cardiovascular component, we do muscle conditioning and some gentle activities with the pool noodles, and then we end with flexibility and relaxation. Uh, I place a great deal of emphasis on posture correction, and we do balance activities, and I also provide participants with lots of options to keep the class as inclusive as possible. An additional bonus of group aqua fitness, I think, is the atmosphere. Here we have a fun, socially supportive group of people and I think that goes a long way towards feeling your best. It's a group that they keep coming and so it's consistent and it's, um, it's a really good atmosphere. I've heard a lot of positive feedback. I try and ask for feedback at the end of every class as well. Some of the things that people like is when the instructor stands on deck then they can see what's going on in case they can't always hear. Uh, they really like the, the group atmosphere of it, and they like the instructor to they sometimes push a little harder. So even though it's a gentle aqua class, if I can demonstrate lots of different ways of doing it, it provides them with options and feels really inclusive, that it involves everybody that way. Uh, we can always modify exercises to various levels so that they can be more challenging using more muscle groups or more bouncing and um, more impact, or you can do a little less impact in the pool uh, using different devices such as pool noodles or aqua bells to modify your exercises. The water often provides people with a little bit less impact on their joints, and the resistance is in all motions. So whichever way a person is moving in the water, you can always get a little bit of resistance. And that resistance is changeable depending on things like if you cup your hands, you'll get more resistance. Leaving them open, you'll get less resistance. So the water provides a lot of options and uh, it's a very inclusive place for people to exercise in. Exercising in the water is just great. I have a bad back and I can go for 45 minutes doing exercises here without any pain in my back. And I, get, I can get the benefit probably about a day later is when I feel the most benefit from water exercise. The buoyancy in the water allows me to do more work than what I can on land. And is it fun? Of course. Yeah.